Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I am Kelly Stewart, joined today by the man himself, Dave Koken, smoking Koken at Dave Koken on Twitter. Dave, let's talk about a game here, really interesting. Oregon Open, one and a half point favorite versus Stanford, now catching two. Are we assuming that Bryce Love isn't playing here? No, he's playing. Uh, they, they held him out last week. They didn't need him, uh, and uh, he, he's he's good to go. The injury was never disclosed, as far as I know, but it, apparently it was something minor. And he was kind of an assistant coach on the field, uh, on the sidelines last week, going back and forth, giving instructions, helping uh, break things down. Uh, Bryce Love's pretty good uh, at, at just about everything that has to do with football or anything else, for that matter. Wish I had his brains. Uh, oh, look, Oregon is—they've is, got to be really geared up for this game. I mean, they just got massacred by Stanford last year. As many things as went badly for the Ducks last year, they bottomed out in the Stanford game. I think it was 49-7. So you know this is a really big revenge spot for Oregon. The question is, are they good enough to get there? And that one and a half that you talked about with Stanford being the underdog in the opening line, it lasted for about mm, one second. I mean, it, it just got immediately hit. And... Uh, and Stanford went to the favorites role. I think Stanford does deserve to be favored in this game. So this becomes one of those games where you're looking at it and saying, well, am I, am I sacrificing value if I take Stanford because it opened one and a half the other way, and now I've got to lay two. But that one and a half was out there for such a brief period of time. I mean, seriously, that might have been just a couple of bets that moved it. So I don't really think that anybody should get off Stanford if that's the side they liked. I don't think it's a value situation. So just because I usually feel this way, uh, whenever a team opens as a favorite, which we just saw last week, Oklahoma State versus yeah. Boise State, yep. I feel like it's that way for a reason. So from a purely handicapping perspective, what are your thoughts on that? You know, I, it, it, it's a tough – it varies from one game to the next. I think Oklahoma State, Boise – and I was on the wrong side of the game, but at least they had a good number. So, you know, sharp side, Boise plus two and a half. Or three, I actually got three in the game. Um, it didn't matter. I needed a lot more than that, obviously. I like getting on the right side of the market as far as the colleges go. I, I, you know, I still don't really look at the market in terms of letting it gauge what I'm going to do as a handicapper. I, I break down the games myself. To me, the market is only an indicator of when I should jump into a game. On the Stanford-Oregon game that we're talking about, I don't, just don't know what to do with it at this point. I think Stanford's the better team, but Oregon has played well in the early going. Somewhat. I, I threw out last week's game against San Jose. I mean, you just show up and you know you're going to win the football game. This is the one they're geared up for. It's the one Stanford's geared up for. Stanford's a little better team. If I had to go with a choice in the game, I would go with the Cardinal, but I don't think it's going to be easy. Lots of interesting things in this one. Stanford's got the Irish on deck. Revenge game for Oregon. I think I'm going to agree with Dave. Probably a no play for me. Guys, are you a member of the Wager Talk Text Club? No. It's free, and it includes free picks, wow. exclusive discounts. Just text Wager Talk to 33222 and get a $10 off coupon for just signing up.